back here on Across the Board with Ian the Colonel and Falling in Reverse. Everybody is talking about you guys. Everybody's like, this is definitely one of the bands that you need to see, and we're big fans. But why is everybody talking about it? you? Know, what, what makes Falling in Reverse so good? Um, crazy pants. We were crazy pants, flashing clothes. Shoes, yeah. Front grinding yeah. those front flips and boots. Um, we have a dog that comes out on stage with us. Really? Hangs out. Um, nice. What kind of dog? Songs are really good at Pitbull. Your Pitbull? Just uh, a random Pitbull. Pitbull. Oh, okay. Right, Pitbull. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And uh, all songs have meaning behind them. Mm-hmm. And it makes a lot of people. <laughs> well, that is ma- that does make you different right there with songs yeah. have meaning behind them. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's so nice. Who have you guys seen that, uh, oh, actually, in, in names and who you are in the band as well? Oh, I'm Ryan, and I play drums yep. and sing and Falling in Reverse. Yep. I'm Jack, I play guitar. Yep. And uh, who got? Who have you seen that you know you recommend on Warp Tour, or who have you not seen that you want to? Um, I think we've seen almost everybody that yeah, was. Yeah, I've probably seen almost everyone. Uh, I recommend Any sleepers this year? Last year, people were saying like Bad Rabbits was a sleeper, Larry and His Flask, bands like that. Sleepers? Like, like uh, boring bands. No, 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 like bands that people Sleep, haven't heard of that are really, really good. No? Oh. Like sleeper picks, sleeper really movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've, 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 never, I've never heard that before. Sorry. <laughs> no, I no, no, that's a different place. No worries, man. Yeah, so like bands that, that are kind of flying under the radar. That Dead Sarah? Yeah. Okay. yeah. They dropped, they dropped, they dropped yeah. off the Yeah, tour, Broken Rib and all, yeah. So Dead Sarah's really good. I mean, the bands I recommend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That talk is good. Um... I've always liked watching like All Time Low and New Find Glory and Gold Rush. Yes. A great band. I've watched like uh, After the Burial and Born of Osiris and yep. For Today. Ghost Inside, I'm getting into really Ghost Inside's really good. Yeah. Um, where do you guys feel most comfortable? On the road, you know, chilling on the bus, at home, relaxing when you're just normal people? I'm, I'm, like, I'm basically like homeless. Like, my my bunk on the bus is my home right now, but other than that, I'm, I ain't got nowhere to go. So I, I yeah, feel like everything in moderation is good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're so at home too much, then you go crazy. If you're on the road too much, you can go crazy. Yeah. yeah. Ryan's going to go real crazy when he gets home, so I'm going to make him <laughs> <laughs> Is that yeah, breaking Ryan, news? Or? Stay with yeah. me. <laughs> what, what's the best thing a fan can come up to you? If a fan were, you know, just walk up to you, what's the best thing they could say to you? Uh, I'll tell you the best thing they wouldn't be able to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I don't like it when people scream in my face. But you, you, usually it's great if they're just like, hey, man, like, fans like, scream in your face. Yeah. A girl came up to me. You know? yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. A girl, she's really sweet. She's really awesome. She came up to me and showed me her arm. She said, oh, my face yeah. tattooed on a... Um, like a portrait of me. Is that, is that a yeah. good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, I was going to say, is that a compliment or is that okay. psychotic yeah, or something? Like, well, no, it was awesome. She was super sweet. Like, if she was like, hey. Yeah, yeah. right. And I'd be kind of like, <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, oh, but no, she, she was super sweet. She was awesome. My mom was there. My mom was super cool. And I signed it for her. She got my signature tattooed above it. Mm-hmm. So really? That was awesome. That's the most flattering thing. I can believe yeah. it. Like, That's that was amazing. So, so, um, in a few years, she might regret that one, but <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. But no, she's uh, it was really. If it was a Nickelback flattery. tattoo, maybe or something, right? Yeah, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I have a Nickelback tattoo. No, I just, it just means, means a lot. Yeah. It means a lot when people Interview come over. up and talk to us. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like yeah, I just like it when they're um when they're just sweet and they're cool and they're like, hey, it's, I mean, I'll, I'll just sit and talk to anyone. Like, I love to meet them. You just want to talk to you like you're normal people as well because you are. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. People don't understand that yeah, that yeah. you're just normal people with really sweet jobs. Yeah. 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 And, um, I'm not from the moon. I'm from, you know, <laughs> right. from Los Angeles. Sometimes like, he acts like it, but. Yeah. <laughs> Space cadet. Yeah. <laughs> I set myself up for that one. You know, you're not hurting your chances of moving in with him now, though. Just yeah. Oh, no. I'm getting no, homeless uh, again. Gone. What is a uh, interviewer doing a thing about bullying over there so we can get it all out? <laughs> no, we're <we'll laughs> just fight right? each other right now. Yeah. A little tough love. What, what's the one thing you miss from home the most, though? This thing, um, I don't know. I mean, I love being on the road, honestly. Yeah. Um, Sometimes I miss my girlfriend. Sometimes. Sometimes. Miss, yeah, no, I mean, right. well, you know what I mean, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, I miss I my you. girlfriend. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just m- m- miss my friends, you know, yeah. sometimes. But it's just when you go on the road, like, that's all you have. What do you guys do to unwind? I mean, in L.A., you've got so much to, you, Honestly, know, you just like, walk down I, Venice Beach. And when I come home from tour, I just lock myself in a room for, like, a week, and I just watch movies and lay in bed and don't even, you know, set alarms or anything. I nice. just veg out. Yeah. I, um... I haven't like had a bedroom in years. Like I haven't, <laughs> I've just been I haven't had any like space in so long. Yeah. And uh, but because I'm I'm a complete loner. Like before this, is a complete loner. So like, this kind of crazy for me. The last few years have been really crazy. But um, so I'm wound up. I don't. <laughs> I just get, <laughs> keep getting wound up. You but, just keep going. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going to explode. I guess. And then um, 
But I guess someone I'll just practice. It's like therapy for me. I practice my guitar. Nice. That's pretty much all I do. If you could have anybody, you know, alive or dead, teach you a master class in your instrument, who would that be? John Bonham. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hell uh, yeah. Jason Becker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or Sean Lane. He's dead now, but. Yeah. Yeah. One of those guys. Yeah, Becker is such a, a, an amazing story as well. And yeah. they say he still writes music, right? With, somehow yeah, with his he, eyes, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, it's with his eyes. His dad, his dad helped him. Um, Created the place where he commun uh, communicate with his eyes. Yeah, and he a, he's got ALS. He has and something, can, yeah. yeah, the documentary where he uh, writes music with his eyes stuff is amazing. It's, every time I see something about him on documentaries, it inspires me so much to keep going and to keep working on my instrument and be so grateful. Yeah, that. he was just he a guitar must, player magazine. Yeah. He must want to pick up a guitar so bad. Yeah, I can imagine that. Like, so it, ma it makes me. Uh, grateful for what I have and it makes me work harder every time I see him. Talking about the drums, do you, I mean, what other genres do you listen to? I mean, do you listen to like jazz drummers as well to yeah, hear sure. that I, kind I of thing? I grew up playing like in like jazz bands like mm -hmm. when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I feel like to be a great drummer, you have to be versatile. Yeah. You have to literally like know every genre in order to, you know, be able to get Absolutely better at your instrument. Yeah. So what's like in rotation on your iPod or whatever now? I haven't, you know, honestly, I just, I haven't listened to my iPod in like a month because every day I wake up, it's just oh like, yeah. everywhere, so... Mm -hmm. But when I'm home, I listen. I don't know. It's, it's it varies, man. I listen to like um, like refused. Nice, yeah. To Glass Jaw, uh, Cave In. Mm -hmm. I listen to like Strung Out. Nice. Yeah, to Strung Out. Yeah, good, so, good friends of the show as well. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah, Jordan's, Jordan's, for a name. Jordan's um, awesome. Yeah. Jordan's one of my really good friends. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, he. Yeah, we just did. Uh, they were on the show, and Jordan uh, hooked us up with implants as well. Oh, nice. So yeah, yeah, great guys. Yeah, yeah. His, his uh, my old band, his band, did a, did a tour together. Nice. Like Ten weeks. Yeah, weeks I love crazy. love Strung Out. Oh man. Yep. Yeah, if you guys had five to ten, fifteen minutes left to live, what's the last song that you would want to hear? You can hear it, or you can perform it. Yours or anybody else's. It's uh to me, it's a weird one. It'd be uh probably something like a orchestrated piece by Danny Elfman or something. Okay, nice. Something from epic like that. Yeah, like know? Tim Burton esque type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's all uh, of Elfman like stuff. That, that ice, ice dance in every season. It's like the most beautiful piece of music I've ever heard. That's amazing. I've Five to ten to minutes up to live. Man. I think it could really be fifteen. Hard song. Okay, um, I probably yeah, but you're getting prepared just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd be like Y M C A. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> not the weirdest no. answer we've had. No, um, I'm but after you want to do the interview in the shower, it's all coming together now. So now, now it makes sense. Um, well, you wait, like, you wait like two years, five minutes to live to like finally uh, yeah. tell everyone. Maybe, maybe something about like Green Day or something. You know, that's because that's, that's why I started playing music. Really? So, yeah. Like what song? Uh, it like has to be off Duke here, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, it's probably like yeah. Welcome to Paradise yeah. or uh, maybe Basket Case. All right, that's a good question. Now, how do you guys feel about when bands? I would say that Green Day genre has kind of changed to more well, they, pop. They I mean, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. How do you feel about that? Yeah, do you feel it's evolving? Is it? Some I people feel, would say it's selling out. What do you think? I feel like it's evolving. I feel like they've, they've taken chances. You know, they're like, okay, well, we made this record. Now let's try this. Yeah. Try yeah. this and try that. You know what I mean? And it, just, it seemed to work for them. Is that something yeah, you guys would, would do? I mean, would you try to play another genre? Like, how did you pick well, your we, genre? Well, you like, say that. We have, like, so many genres mixed together anyway. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I couldn't... I can't pinpoint us at all. It's just like. You know, people ask us what we sound like. I honestly don't know. Like, I, I say yeah. we dress like. I just say we're. Right. <laughs> just throw back mixed with like. You know. Sorry. No, you're, no, you're, you're good. You're right. good. That's uh, what that is for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> no, um. Yeah, we, we mix up for everything. And even on the next record, it's going to be a lot of stuff that's really going to make you raise your eyebrows. Yeah, for what? Sure. Really nice. Yeah, that's that, one of the best yeah. things about your band, though. I mean, it is something different. You know, it's not the same. You know, so many bands just sound the same these days. Yeah, yeah. You guys break apart, and it's so many good bands out there. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I could definitely say it's unique. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah new stuff's going to be crazy. That's all I can say. Yeah. How do you, how do you get in the headspace to write? Um, I mean, just always, you just something hits you when you write it, or yeah, if you're um, trying to do something different, like you said, do you go out and say, "I want to do something different," or it just hits it? Well, I think it's just, just natural. Like, like Ronnie will be like, "Oh, it will come up with an idea," and be like, "Oh, I want to do this," and the next day I'll just go and record it down. It'll be done. It'll be like, "Whoa!" Like uh, we have a friend Ryan who will uh, produce our demos, but we'll go in and do the guitars and the bass and everything like that, and he'll he'll get this kind of idea yeah. ready. Yeah, ru ru uh, his name's Ryan Ogren. He's recording, recording demos for us. He's in the band uh, Runner Runner. I'm not sure you remember that. I don't know that. They're, no. they're a pop band on Capitol. He's in Don't Look Down okay. too. Okay. And, and a band called Don't Look Down. Yeah. Don't know that one. Uh, but anyway, um, like I'll, I'll check him out now though. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll come up with like if I come up with solo ideas or like a run or like. Riffs or anything, I'll, I'll have a, or a melody, I'll sing it into my iPhone and then I'll have it forever. And yeah. It's there when I want to use it. Or I'll just record it on guitar down or stuff, stuff like that. I'll have like my laptop. 
and do, just kind of evolve from there, I think. Nice. Well, all right, guys, appreciate the time. I'll be back here in a few minutes on Across the Board.